Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna tell you how to use the Sennheiser wireless body packs as a wireless speaker. Traditionally, we use this with our video company. We'll put this on the camera, we'll put this on the talent, we'll have a lapel, and I'll be able to pick up audio wirelessly, kind of like we're doing right now. But today, we're gonna be using this for a wireless speaker, so essentially we have to trade these spots. So this normally goes on to the camera. Today, we're gonna put this pack all the way in the back of the room, and it's gonna go on our wireless speaker. You can see we have a speaker that's all the way back there. It'd be really, really hard to run a cord from our mixer that's behind us, all the way down the walls, cross the doors, and get it over there. So this is a great wireless solution. Now we have this, which is normally the transmitter, or we have our lapel in here. This is gonna go into the back of the mixer, or in our case, we're gonna daisy chain it off of a speaker that's right next to our DJ booth to send signal over there. Now this is pretty easy to set up, and now I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up now. So you're gonna open this up, you're gonna hit set, then from there, you're gonna go to easy setup. Then you're gonna find where it says scan new list. And what that's gonna do is gonna check all the frequencies in the room and see which channel is the best. Then from there, you're gonna hit set and you're gonna go down till you see sync. Then you're gonna hit sync for this. And then you're gonna open these doors so that way they can see each other. We're gonna position them together so they sync. Once you know that they've synced, it will give you a check mark and then you can plug it in to the back of your speaker or your mixer and then plug this one all the way back into your wireless speaker. And it is a really great solution uh, for a wireless speaker. I know Alto makes a cheaper version of this because this set was like 750 bucks, um, but it just wasn't reliable. And if you want a reliable signal this is the kit that I recommend that you really go with. We went with the G4s, uh, came with a couple other stuff for our, our camera, but this is a really, really good solution um, if you need a wireless speaker. Now, when we do larger ceremonies, we wanna have a wireless speaker on the other side of the ceremony. We don't wanna run cords across the aisle. So this is the solution that we use when we wanna do a two speaker setup for a wedding ceremony. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set this up. We're gonna go to set. You're gonna go over to Easy Setup. Now we can use the current list, but we want to go to we see Scan New List. We're gonna hit Scan. And what this is gonna do is when we hit Set, it's gonna scan all the channels. And then once that's done, then we're gonna hit Sync. So now that we've scanned all the channels, we're gonna find where it says Sync. And we're gonna hit Set. And then we're gonna pair these together and see there's a check mark there, and now that lets us know that these are synced. Now one of the most important things is this is being plugged in the mixer and we don't want this peaking because once the signal peaks by the time it gets to the other speaker, it's not gonna sound that good. So on, on our current setting, we have this set right now to negative 33. When it gets louder, we'll set it anywhere from like negative 16 to negative 48, because we don't want this to peak, because once it's peaked here, it's no good here. And then this one, we actually will set to zero or like a positive six, depending on how loud we want the speaker to be sounding. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in. This is our audio going in. This is our audio going out. And then what I like to do is we'll clean this all up, but then I like to set this up here nice and high so that way we can get a clear line of sight over to our other speaker. So now on the back of this speaker, we're gonna take this and we're gonna plug this. First, we're gonna turn the volume all the way down. We're gonna plug this in. Then we're gonna set this all the way on top like that. So that way our antenna's up and then we'll be able to bring up the volume and then so now you can kind of see the speakers all the way back here. And then we got our front speakers here. So depending on our setup, we'll have a different speaker setup depending on the room. So I want to be able to keep those speakers at a real soft volume, but I want to be able to hit the sound in these back tables. And that's why we have this wireless speaker.